Okay, so uh, we have reached the end of the line here, I think, for this particular game tutorial. This is the final piece. I'll probably include a few optional videos at the end if you want to do things like add extra ammunition. Um, maybe I will look at the mass. You can uh, fire different types of objects um, that have different properties associated with them. Um, so maybe we'll do some of that as, as optional at the end, but this is really the final video. If you finish this one that I'm about to talk about, um, you're in good shape. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make it so that we, we've already got it registering the number of times we launch an object, and we've also got the game registering the number of collisions that object is making with some sort of assigned target. Okay? Um, we're going to set it so that if you fire too many, if you launch too many objects, the scene gets reset. But if you score a certain number of hits before you run out of objects to launch, you'll move on to level two. Okay, pretty simple. Um, so what we've got over here is I've got an empty that is registering messages right now. And it's counting up the hit count, HC, over on the left, and fired over on the left. And every time we launch an item, um, it is incre incrementing the value of fired, and every time we make a collision with our target, it is incrementing the value of HC. So I'm going to add another property here. I'm going to add a sensor, and it's going to be a property sensor. Okay, and I'm going to add a control and, and I'm going to add an actuator, and this actuator is going to be scene. All right, and I'm going to pause this while I just connect those three together. All right, you can see that I've got uh, the property and scene. Re right now, scene over here is set to restart. That's the default, so we're good there. Um, and now we're going to set up uh, what we want, to, how we want to trigger that restart. Well, the evaluation type is equal, and let's go ahead and change that to the property fired. That'd be the uh, number of projectiles fired. If that equals a value of, let's say, 6, um, then the scene will restart. All right, so let's test this logic out and see if it works. I'm going to play the game, and I'm going to launch one, and you can see up in the top left-hand corner, empty 001 fired is one now, two, three, four, five, and here comes number six. So when I click this one, the, game, the level should just restart, and it did. Now, there's probably a better way to handle that, but uh, for the time being, it works, and it's an easy solution. Okay. So now we want to make, uh, make it so that if you register three collisions within that you know, um, range of projectiles you have available, it's time to move on to level two. So I'm going to come up here to where it says Scene, and I'll click the uh, plus button, and let's go ahead and do a full copy. All right? There's no reason to reinvent the wheel on this. Um, you can take a full copy. Now this is Scene 001, and I'll go ahead, and if early on you know, in this, we went through, and uh, you could do a selection by group just to select your building, let's say. I'll go uh, select, and then grouped, right, and then group. And unfortunately, it looks like mine's not set that way. So I'm just going to manually set them up. I'm going to grab my blocks here, and I'll delete them all except for one. Okay? And I'll probably go ahead and delete my target because I'll probably want a whole new level, you know. And uh, let's just go ahead and do a box select on some of this other stuff. Sometimes it may take a little bit of time to get rid of some of that. Hopefully I won't nail the sky dome here. I'm thinking I'm going to. Let's go ahead and click off of that. Delete. Sky dome accidentally disappeared. So uh, we'll bring it back. Anyway, you'll want to um, delete any kind of uh, extraneous objects there, basically your target and everything except for one block. Now you can rebuild your target and uh, rebuild your structure so that you've got a level two. So this is level two, and let's go ahead and name it up here, level two, okay? And this is uh, your original scene. Let's go back to scene, which is level one, okay? Um, well, let's make it move now from level one to level two if you register those collisions. Once again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add another sensor. It's going to be a properties sensor here, and we'll add an AND gate, and we'll go ahead and we will add um, a scene actuator, okay? 
And I'm going to go ahead again, and I'm going to pause this while I go through and connect those up. All right, so I've connected these three boxes up. And we'll go ahead and we'll set the value this time of HC. And let's go ahead and make it uh, something really easy like 2 for level 1. If HC equals 2, all right, we're going to say scene. Instead of restart, we're going to say set scene. And we'll say, okay, move on to level 2. All right? should be that simple. So let's go ahead and play this thing. And I'm going to launch 1. And let's get that, see if we can actually, if I can beat my game. There's one collision. And I'm running out of chances here. There's two. All right. And now we are, we have been moved on here, okay, to the next level. Okay? Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at level two. It may require some tweaking, depending on what you've got and how it works out. Um, what I would ask is that you go through and retexture the level, okay? Instead of having a grass texture, you could go through and find a lava texture, you know? And uh, these sky domes are kind of fun to experiment, too. We found um, you can grab large images off of Google. And uh, if I go to my default now, um, you can map any image you want there and just see how it looks. So, I mean, using sky domes, actually, they're designed for this. They look great. But I've had some students uh, grab images that aren't necessarily mapped as sky domes, and, and they look okay. So uh, I would grab a new sky dome, uh, retexture your layer for level two, um, and rebuild a structure, add some new targets. You know, you may have to assign some new properties and things, but basically you've got all the tools there. Um, I guess the assignment would be to build a game that has three levels, okay? So all you've got to do is copy it out, and instead of having just level one and level two, we'd have level three at the bare minimum um, that uh, someone can play and advance through. Okay, so if you've got that set up or if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, when you've got three levels working well, um, I'll come over and I'll give you a grade. I'll show you the rubric that I'm going to be grading on before I do that, and uh, we're good to go. So thank you for watching and thank you working for working through this uh, particular tutorial set. It's my hope that uh, you have a better understanding of how the game logic here works, and uh, you know I value creativity. So anything you do that sort of enhances this basic setup, um, you're going to get points for, and it's going to increase, you know, uh, the impression that it makes. So uh, feel free to get creative. All right, thank you very much, and uh, look for some of the optional lessons that I'll put in here, too, that uh, will sort of uh, build on some of these basic concepts. All right, thank you, and uh, look for more video tutorials in the future.